India's first two cases of the Omicron variant of COVID has been detected in Karnataka and Bengaluru. One, a 66-year-old foreigner, the other, a 46-year-old Indian doctor. Both of them were infected in the last week of November when the test came positive, but they had mild symptoms or were asymptomatic. The government said all contacts of these two have been traced and were tested. So far, at least 373 cases of Omicron have been detected across 32 countries, the US and now India as well. The government says, get vaccinated, don't panic. Now, let's just go into exclusive details that NDTV has got of both the patients. Now, patient number one, a 66-year-old foreigner from South Africa. He's recovered and has actually left India. He came into India on the 20th of November. He tested negative in South Africa. He arrived in Bengaluru and then tested positive here. On 22nd November, his sample was sent for genome testing because of South Africa. Uh, he came from there. And on the 23rd, that patient test was COVID negative. So on the 27th, he left India. He had 24 primary and 240 secondary contacts, all of whom were negative. But patient number two is the more interesting and perhaps worrying one because could it indicate local transmission? This is a 46-year-old doctor in a Bengaluru hospital. He's got no foreign travel history, no foreign contacts. Now of his contacts, five people have been uh, tested positive. He is positive on the 22nd of November with no travel history. He is discharged from hospital on the 27th of November and his symptoms are very mild. Now, of his 13 primary contacts, three tested positive. Of his secondary contacts, only two tested positive out of 205. And again, the symptoms were very mild and of these five, we don't know yet if they got Omicron or not, but their symptoms are also very mild. They're in isolation. Today, the government announcing this said, do not panic. The main thing is get fully vaccinated. In 24 hours, we two Omicron variant cases in our network detected in Karnataka. The report was late last night, which we want to keep you India's first two cases of the Omicron variant of COVID. Both have recovered and one has even left India. One of them is a 66-year-old patient who came from South Africa. The other, a 46-year-old healthcare worker who has no travel history. One of the two patients is fully vaccinated. Here is what we know about the two patients. Both have recovered. And the 66-year-old in the span of a week tested negative before his flight, then positive on arrival, and then three days later tests negative. This Omicron case was asymptomatic. Between the two cases, almost 40 primary contacts and over 400 secondary contacts have been tested. And of the second patient, three primary and two secondary have tested positive for COVID and are in isolation. We need not panic, but awareness is absolutely essential. And not going to and not organizing mass gatherings will help breaking the chain of transmission of Omicron. The Delhi Chief Minister called for tighter restrictions while the Maharashtra government announced new rules, making institutional quarantine mandatory for passengers from three countries, South Africa, Botswana and Zimbabwe. At India's airports, passengers are understandably anxious and under all sorts of pressures. I have my flight on December, uh, December 10th, but I had to book another one because of the new virus. I had to book it because I am scared that I would be stuck here. That I would lose my job. Landed on the 29th of November, one day before the new restrictions were imposed. I realized that I was pretty much stuck between a rock and a hard place when I tried to book my ticket back to London in January. And I was shocked to learn that the price of a ticket was 3,70,000. But of the almost 8,000 passengers who have come in from India's list of at-risk nations, only 10 or so have tested COVID positive so far. That's just 0.13%. The entry of Omicron in India poses yet another challenge in the fight against COVID-19 and while the highly mutated variant of COVID-19 is causing a scare across the world, our best bet against COVID-19 still remains vaccination and COVID-appropriate behaviour. With camera person Xavier Thomas and Nihal Kedwai in Bangalore, Amak Shadongre for NDTV.